The preferences window is open, we have a generic MIDI device and have set the in and out port for Zone K2. You can rename the device by going to Edit, Edit Comment. Here we will type in K2 Test. Your device is now known as K2 Test. So first we will add a function for a button, so we will add Deck Play. In the assignment, we will set this to deck A, so the button only applies to deck A. Click Learn, and choose the button on the K2 you want to use. You will notice the channel is 16, note C1. Type of controller is button, and type of interaction is toggle, as this is the deck play. Select toggle, click off Learn, and you'll notice that when we press the button, the play icon lights on deck A. Now we've mapped the button to tractor, we need to map the output back to the K2. So add an output, deck play, device target set to A. As there is no learn functions for outputs in Tractor, we have to select from a list. We are mapped to channel 16, so select channel 16 and it's a note message as it's a button. Here we can choose the note we can send. If you reference the K2 user guide page 18, this will provide you with the MIDI note implementation. The button we have chosen is M. As we want this to light green, we need to send back the note C7. So if we scroll down the list, find C7 and select it, you will notice when we press play, there is a green illumination of the LED. If we now add a mixer function, the monitor cue, again, set to deck A, Click Learn, choose the button to use, so button A. Again, make this a toggle, not a hold. So when we press, the monitor control illuminates with the button. So to know this is active, we need to add an output. Go to Mixer, Monitor Queue, Target Device A. Now we want this to light up red, so if you reference the K2 user guide page 18, we have to send the MIDI message note C2 to illuminate that button. So if we scroll down the list, find channel 16, note C2 and select it. You will notice when we press monitor cue, there is a red illumination of the LED. And my play is still green. Finally, we will add a standard cue. There are many ways to do this, but we will choose the button as this is a cue and generally has a hold function. Click Learn and choose the button on the K2 you want to use. For the output, Generally the Q button is on when the play button is off, so we will use deck play for this example. So deck A, channel 16, no T1, that button we want to illuminate amber. So if you reference the K2 user guide page 18, we have to send the MIDI message note E4 to illuminate that button. So if we scroll down the list, find channel 16, no T4 and select it. We want this to be opposite to the play button, so we want it on when the play button is off. In the LED options, click the invert button. So when we press play, the cue light is illuminated amber and will be whilst the play button is off.
So that's how you map basic buttons and how you access the free LED colours referenced in the user guide.